went to film school in, um, probably started in 1991 or two. From then about 1991 or so till about 2005. I mostly did documentaries, uh, freelance documentaries. So my first one was actually my, my graduate thesis, which was on autism. It's called The Spectrum of Autism and uh, which got picked up by a distribution company that distributes to libraries and companies to uh, just to educate people. I did some freelance documentaries, um, one for, uh, it was a PBS series. Um, it was called Off the Beaten Path. It was, um, it was just a pilot and it didn't end up getting picked up, but we did five shows. So that went that aired on all the California stations. When I was in film school, I interned for uh, Gail Ann Hurd. She uh, she produced The Terminator, The Abyss, a lot of those big movies, and her production company was uh, Pacific Western. And she actually was the studio that was at Paramount. And I think I mean that was a great experience. I got to read scripts. I got to go on the production for some of the different movies and that was a great experience and one thing I learned is there's a lot of bad scripts <laughs> and if you're a really good screenwriter and you've got a good story you know just hang in there and get in there because you know, there aren't a lot of good ones out there. It's good to do different things because what I learned is I didn't want to do feature films. Um, that helped me help cement for my thinking that I wanted to do documentaries. It's what I love doing more. Um, I, I mean, I, I liked working in film, but it just wasn't really where I wanted wanted to go. Some documentaries are very film-like. They're scripted up to a certain degree, and then it's the information comes, you know, from the people you're interviewing, and it's about the subject that you're the, that the documentary is about. So it's a lot less scripted in that sense. I mean, some are more than others. Some documentaries are very fly-by, the seat of your pants. You just go out and you shoot, and then you put something together. Uh, where a film, you have to you have to have your storyboard, or you should have a storyboard. <laughs> um, you know, you have to have your script, everything, your shots all worked out. It's very meticulous, um, and I mean, even though it's a, in a very creative process as well, there's a lot more involved. There's a lot more layers. Documentaries have those too, but it's just not to the extent that that film is. It's a different audience. So, I mean, film is just a retelling of a story, or you know, fictional, whether it be fictional or real, where a documentary is more informative. The film industry, documentaries are like anything else. You go into it because it's what you enjoy, but you're going to end up having to, to go, you might end up having to go into an area in it that you might not necessarily like, but do it anyway. School is good, it's important, but I think the most important thing is getting with someone who has done a lot of it or is in, a, in who is in the industry. Um, the best thing is experience and learning from those who have made all the mistakes and uh, learning from that and then taking that and making your own. The film industry in St. Louis or Wisconsin or anywhere in the Midwest is not going to be nearly as large as it, as it is in California. So you might have to go to California in order to get started. It's a lot more open there too, um, probably because there is so much more out there. There's a lot more industry out there. They're more willing, I think, to take in interns. Um, if you're really good at what you do, I think it's a little bit easier in some ways. Uh, but if you can find somebody in your city that you can tag along with that's doing what you want to do, then try to, try to find that and then work your way into a job. Work for as many people for free as you can. Intern for as many people as you can in different capacities because you either might learn, one, I really like something that I didn't think that I would like, or two, like with me, that no, I'm now I know this is not what I want to do and I really want to go this other route. But you do meet a lot of people, you meet a lot of contacts, that's huge.